If the Pope is seated where he is, what does he see? Well, he sees a giant serpent with eyes once again. The audience is symbolic of almost the serpent's meal, and the Pope is not preaching to the audience under this symbolism, but the giant god-like reptilian creature himself. Why? Because this is what the Pope sees. Can you imagine that when they were designing this, that they designed this all by mistake? That this is some kind of high anomaly? No, because they spent literally years on the designs. They definitely would have known what the Pope would have seen from where he was actually speaking. Also, what the audience was seeing. So this is very strange and it raises some serious questions. What is going on in the hall? Number one. But the biggest clue, the biggest symbolism that tells us something is really, really wrong here is in fact what is missing from the hall, not what is inside it. Do you know what that is? Here is a clue. Now, think of the heart of Christianity and think of what symbol it has and think of what you do not see in this hall. You do not see any of it. That's right. There is no Christian cross. There is no cross in the entire building, at least no large statue, wall hanging or anything. There's no other real Christian symbolism either. There's no Virgin Mary. There's no Joseph the Carpenter. There is indeed nothing anywhere. All of these symbols are missing. But you might say, what about that 10 ton bronze statue that's seated behind the Pope, where, as the Vatican states, Christ is being resurrected from a nuclear apocalypse or a nuclear bomb? To which I would say, this, I believe, is a direct corruption of symbolism. That is, I've taken the former Catholic symbolism symbolism of Jesus, Jesus Christ, and they've displayed it in a corrupted manner, therefore corrupting its meaning. This is just not the way that you display Jesus Christ in any kind of Christianic religious order. You don't display Jesus Christ with massive wings on his back rising up from an atomic apocalypse. You just don't do this. Look at representations of Christ from the past just to compare. Take a look. Now you can see that there's just a huge vast difference here. Something is profoundly wrong. I mean, this statue, which weighs 10 tons, just looks like some massive thing, like a boss from some video game or something from some horror movie. You just don't display Christ like this. And also note on this, Christ appears to have massive wings on his back. Half of his face also looks like it's missing, like he's been heavily damaged by the blast. Is this really how you display Jesus Christ? Ask yourself yourself that. You don't even have to be religious. Just look at history and compare. So what is happening? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to continue to dig. You can be sure